All right, welcome everybody to the 15th game for the Goffstown Varsity Girls soccer team here at GHS. It is a special night tonight. Not only is it the penultimate game, but it is also senior night. So the Goffstown Grizzlies are honoring their senior players tonight. So we'll try to keep the talking to a minimum here. Lexi went out right before the broadcast, so that's her coming back. Here comes Allie. So always a wonderful night and in, in a good show of sportsmanship. Uh, the girls had flowers for the Merrimack Tomahawk players who are also seniors tonight. Presented those players with a token of their appreciation. So Lexi and Allie have been acknowledged. And Caroline. Beautiful night for senior night. The rain has cleared out. About you know, 60, 65 degrees. Sunshine and mostly blue skies here for the seniors. So Caroline getting acknowledged. And we have a few more, Joe, but I don't know who's next. Mia Perosi. Coach Nick getting in his steps today, Joe. Walking each girl out to the reception area near the stands. Always heartwarming to see these nights and the acknowledgement of the girls. Some of them having been on varsity for four years now. Impressive accomplishment. We have several seniors yet to be acknowledged. We have a total of eight seniors on the team, if I'm doing my math right. Wearing 
14, Maya Thomas. <laughs> Maya has been part of the girls varsity soccer program since her freshman year at Gosstown High School. After high school, she plans to attend a four-year college while pursuing both soccer and track. She plans to study pre-med, attend medical school, and eventually become a sports medicine doctor. Maya would like to take this time to thank her parents for supporting her throughout the years and giving her multiple opportunities to become a better player. She would also like to thank her older brother for getting her into the sport and, of course, her teammate for pushing her to be the best player that she can be. Joining her tonight are her parents, John Thomas and Fung Wong. Ava, Big Dog Alpha Vaughn. She has been a varsity soccer player for the past two years. She plans on attending Johnson & Wales University to continue her soccer career and study sports management. She would like to thank her family for always supporting her and driving her to all her practices and games. She would also like to thank her best friends for making the past four years truly unforgettable. Joining her today are her parents, Scott and Jessica Vaughn, as well as her grandparents, Sal and Sue Colombo. All right, so that was quite a uh, emotional ceremony. The girls are laughing and a little bit of tears about to flow here. So well done by the Goffstown girls team to orchestrate that. So with that, we are moments away from game time. All right, so that concludes the senior night ceremonies and the playing of our national anthem. So we have uh, game time here coming up. You can see the, the Merrimack seniors running across the field and giving their respective families or fans their flowers that they received. So this is the second to last game of the regular season for the Goffstown Grizzlies. Uh, they come into today's contest with a record of seven, six, and one. 
Their last game, they lost to the Alvern Owls 1-6 to six in a miserable, cold, ending up rainy night. Uh, and uh, I think hopefully they've forgotten about that game, Joe. We, we had some more injuries, and uh, it was just not a... Uh, not a highlight game uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, injuries certainly have been piling up of late for the Grizzlies, uh, but they are really looking uh, forward to making the playoffs for the first time in several years. And as such, getting healthier right now is the most important focus, uh, although I'm sure Coach would love to have a couple more points anywhere, if not, if not four more points in the next two games to help their, their standing and their seeding in that first round of the playoff. The Merrimack Tomahawks come into today's contest uh, with a, a pretty impressive record of 9-4-1. Already an improvement for them from last year's record of 7-8-1, which earned them a playoff berth. Uh, they fell in the first round to Portsmouth. So the Merrimack Tomahawks uh, have a first-year coach who has really instilled, uh, it seems, a winning attitude in the team. They have a, a great goalie. They have uh, talent at, at all points depths of the field they can score from anywhere it seems um, and this is going to be a tough matchup no doubt about it in 14 games the Tomahawks have given up a fairly stingy 17 goals total Gostan has given up 28 by comparison uh, six in the last game and Merrimack has scored 34 goals compared to Gostan's 36 so pretty even offensively and if you look at their offensive output They've had bursts of goals against some of the weaker teams in Division One. So, again, pretty similar in that fashion. I uh, expect to see them move the ball pretty well today and uh, have some create some, some good scoring opportunities. So, here we go. Gostown is taking their shape. Merrimack looks like they are in a 4-1-4-1 type position. Might be a 4-5-1, just with a uh, kind of a defensive mid holding back. There's the opening whistle, and just like that, we are started here in Goffstown. So Goffstown looking to send that forward. Ari trying to get ahead on that bouncing ball, or that, that sky ball, but no luck. So um, I imagine most of the seniors are out there, Joe. I haven't taken a good look at our lineup yet. I was just uh, scanning through, and I think you are correct. I think that was Allie that just had the last touch on the ball there. Yeah, we got Allie, Lexi, Caroline, Maya, Reese. So we're going to play this back to Ava. Oh, and it's going to go right to a Merrimack player, but it had a... Had a bit of steam on the ball, so the ball's going to come down, and we're going to recover. Maya trying to get through the middle. She's going to get that tackled away. Lexi with a lot of time here. They are not pushing up, and that ball's going to get just kind of over the top of the defense, and oh, good job here by Ari. Ari putting great pressure on. She does, and that goalie's going to have to kick that away. So interesting there, Joe. Uh, not a lot of pressure up top, and um, we seem to catch them off guard a little bit. So McKenna bringing this down, trying to find Ari. Pressure, 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 pressure. Get a little bit of foot on there, but yeah, we've got a lot of space here. Good job by Ava to intercept that. Caroline brings it down for Ari. Ari with a hand on her back and another hand on her chest there. Gets tackled. That ball gets through, and we've got some speed here in the attacking positions for sure. And that ball, I think, this is going to be out of bounds uh, before huh? it was kicked, yeah. So I think the players recognize it's out of bounds, but you gotta play to the whistle. You do have to play to the whistle. Cause that, that was a cross right to a header and right into the back of the net. Mm -hmm. Reese bringing that ball down, it's gonna roll out of bounds. So the Tomahawks here with, with uh, an early opportunity. That ball rolls to Bridget inside the box. And Brooks going to try to clear that. It's going to bounce off of the defender pretty hard and over the back line. So Ava Vaughn, who returns to net, she's missed uh, uh, several games due to an injury. I'm glad to see her getting better. I'm 
sure she's pretty excited to join in on the festivities and the game here as well. Yep, had some good goaltending um, by Riley. Uh, in particular, the last couple games. So Maya looking to uh, find an outlet here. She's going to keep it in the center. Can dump it over to Caroline, but Caroline's not going to get there. And Merrimack's going to be able to send this forward. So Brooke trying to contain here. They do a pretty good job, but they still get a cross near the, near the top of the box, and they're going to come down with it, and they're going to turn right away. And McKenna with a good job tackling that ball, I think out of bounds, Joe. This yes. is that blind spot here. It is out of bounds on Gosstown. Looks like uh, Merrimack's going to go and grab it. Got a deep ball's in hand, and here comes the throw. Good throw, dangerous throw, and that's right in the box there. Oh, and oh, a Andrew diving. A great save. Yeah, diving, extended left hand to poke that ball uh, out across the back line. So it will be a corner kick, but that was a dangerous play for sure. So four minutes into the game here, and there's been some, some intense pressure already. So the ball is in the corner. Hand raised, ready to go. Here's the send. And that's going to go behind, behind the, the net. net. So Gosson looking to reset here. We'll that's see. two very successful crosses, even though the one went out of bounds right prior to, and then this one Ava yeah. was able to get some fingers on that to ball's push gonna it out. Bounce up and over after hitting the head of a Tomahawk player, and the quick throw in. Ari's looking to get it. We're bunched up a little bit. Oh, a little miscommunication there. I think both McKenna and Maya thought the other had it. And there's a tangling of feet. It's going to be a foul against Goffstown. So free kick right near the center line here for Merrimack. Merrimack's trying to position her players. And she's going to send that forward right toward the front of the box. Oh, and it takes a deflection into the box. Unfortunate. And, oh. Bridget just trying to clear it, but it goes right into the teeth. Of, right yeah. into the middle. Yep, right into the teeth of the uh, attacking players here. Hold on, Alex. Hold on. So Maya gets uh, gets a containment. She's going to have a throw in here. She's going to she's going to take it. I thought she might hand it off to Lexi. And we're going to try this again because it goes out of bounds almost at the same spot. But Lexi will take it this time. She's going to send that far down the line. Good throw. How are you looking to come down with it? McKenna poking it. And oh, we had yeah, we had an interception there. Caroline sends it back, but it might not be a bad a result here. Nope. Merrimack does a good job. It looks like we got a left footed uh meteor defender there. Yep, we're uh, we're trying to get it down the middle here early. And good ball and again great speed and a lot of talent here on this winger. So, oh, Brooke get a foot on it. Get that out of the box. Caroline's trying to come nice down with it. Cross. Yep. So their game plan so far is cross and have someone on the end of that cross to do some damage. Yep. And they do have pay, the players' position there. I think we're playing too much in the middle. Too quickly. Clearances from the back are going into the middle, and anytime we're progressing up front. Towards the midfield, we're going straight to the middle, and it's getting clogged up pretty quick. There's a kick. It's going to come down and find Merrimack feet and get sent forward. Oh, and there's an inadvertent touch there. And, yeah, not a pass. So Ava was able to dive on that. And good job by her to get that before it went across the back line. But that was uh, another indication, Joe, of, you know, Bridget having a quick touch on that because of the pressure. Big kick. It's going to go over the center circle on the Merrimack side of the field, but Merrimack's gonna boom it back right into the middle. Ava trying to come down with it. Uh, good job there. Lexi trying to send it forward. McKenna's gonna have an opportunity here to try to tackle this away. Yeah, we're gonna get some pressure here. So they're gonna pass right out of the pressure, just as we thought, you know, it's just some give and go, easy passes here. They're really getting it out of, out of uh, the backfield efficiently is Merrimack. And here it comes. Oh, no. There was a foul. Oh, no. No foul. No foul. Yeah, and that ball's going to try to be crossed, but way off target. So, 
Yeah, we've seen some good passing and some good pace behind it. So we're going to have to be on our on our A game. We've certainly been able to play in games like this. The game against Portsmouth is coming to mind here, Joe, with right. the, the pace of play and the quality of play so far by the opponent. As long as Gosstown keeps the pressure on, they're able to compete. Ari trying to make a turn there. And again, Merrimack really holding that line, looking for the outlet passes here. They're going to find a lot of cutbacks here. Um, I've seen all the players able to do that pretty well so far that have had more than a couple touches. And there's a ball right to the middle. And Bridges is going to try with her left foot to clear it, but it's not going to get cleared. And Lexi's going to get it. Baster and oh, another opportunity, but at the last second, it looked like Brooke might have deflected that, or I guess it wasn't Brooke because it, it's out on Merrimack. We have a goal kick, but close. It was close. They've had been in, in the zone making attempts on the Merrimack side. That's a rare boom ball here for Merrimack. Dumped into the zone. Lexi's going to watch that roll out. She collects it just about ready to throw. Here comes the throw. Straight up the line. Kind of trying to switch, but that's going to go right into the middle, and I think that's right where Merrimack wants it, probably. Yeah, back to my comment earlier that they're clogging up the middle, and if we keep feeding it, they're going to keep taking it. Yep. So Caroline trying to send that down the line. That's going to get, yep, that's going to get the defense running toward their own goal and deeper than they have been, I think, since the beginning of the game, Joe. And we're going to have a nice deep throw in. So let's see if we can make something happen in the attacking third here. Big throw. It's going to find a Merrimack cleat. Gets sent right back toward us. Are you trying to keep it in? And... I think they called off sides there. Call. Yeah, it looked like one of the center backs was deep enough, but they have a better view than we do. The refs, that is. Caroline trying to keep it in front here. Yeah, we, we're lacking the pressure, though, Joe. We are. It has slowed down in the past couple minutes here. Yep. I mean, right there, a good example. Lexi did a good job to get there. We've got to be doing that on every play. Oh, and a, and a misstep there by good block by Brooke. Tackle, but again, it finds Merrimack because we haven't come back yet. Whew, yeah. little bobble there, yep. A good job by Ava to get, get her arms around it, and that loose ball was, uh, that was a little bit of crazy ball there. A few seconds of crazy ball, and that ball's not going to get past the defense, but Ari with Ari's a nice a step. Switch. So can we get in there and get some pressure? That's a kickback. Yeah, the goalie cannot pick that up. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to let them turn right out of this. We can't let them yeah, turn that out that That midfield needs easy. to crush down and make sure that yeah. ball doesn't come out. Yeah, so just like that, Merrimack is across midfield. Good step by Lexi. She's seen this movie before. Um, now it's just a matter of trying to stop it. There's a throw in. It's going to go over Lexi. Bridge is going to try to keep in front of her. Lexi trying to mu yeah, muscle it away, but Fortune goes right back to Merrimack here. And here comes yet another cross. Ava comes out for it nicely. I'm going to roll that right out to Caroline. Oh, big touch, and it's going to go right back to Merrimack. Yeah, no pressure here, Joe, uh, in this middle third. No. Kenna's going to throw this back to Lexi, and they're not even pressuring her. And this is probably why, because we're just kicking it right back just to them. Just kicking it. you got to take some green while they're giving you the space and players be moving, getting some options open. Good switch there. Ari admirably tries to take it down and keeps it blocked here. And that's a kind of got a little bit of English on it, but it's going to come down and come right back. You know, luck favors the well-prepared, as the saying goes, and 
Seems like every bouncing ball is finding Merrimack, but they're they're working for it too. They're creating their own luck, if you will. A little collision there by the Gossan teammates as as it gets cleared, but it's right back on the other side of the box here, Joe. And McKenna doing a great job coming back to help out. Just sneaks out. And yep, just ran out of real estate. That's twice now that they've uh had their momentum stopped by going past the back line, but. So number five is coming out. She's the one that's been driving that whole mm -hmm. right side push this whole time. A big send forward, but again, first touch, Merrimack. Oh, and that ball does get in. Ava's just not able to get to it in time. They sent that right into the middle of the box. And unfortunately, this is a, uh, a situation we've seen in a few games here lately. We're down early, um, zero to one. So Merrimack takes the lead on a uh, kind of run of play goal. It wasn't their best opportunity, but it was the one that got buried. And Maya's coming right back out here and Ari too. They're, Wasting no time to try to get this momentum back and develop an opportunity. Good step by Ava. We got a. We're we're a little hesitant right now, Joe. We don't know exactly what we're doing uh, with the ball each time or who's who's where. Well, this is where midfield should be filling in. We got a big yep. empty spot. Oh, here. Maya just it's trying to kind of bull rush it through everybody, and she makes it through a few defenders, but but not enough. So. Allie trying to come back here and contain, but again, we, we have nowhere in the middle. Good job by McKenna to come back. Good block there. This is what we need more of, Joe. Absolutely. Keep this ball locked in. That ball's going to go in the corner, and I don't think it's going to stay in bounds because it'll look too much on it. Yep, Costown's being outplayed a little bit in the first 15 minutes of this game. Yeah, and the score reflects that, I think. Yeah. Merrimack has had many opportunities, able to put one in. For, unfortunately for Ava, she tried to clear that out and it ricocheted off the player and kind of trickled its way back into the net. Yeah, it had a kind of funny backward bounce and it yep. just, no one could get to it. And I think the bounce was carrying it into the net too, the, the spin. Yeah. Well, there's no points for style. A goal is a goal. And the score is 1-0 in favor of Merrimack. Uh, we've seen Goss on all season, though. They don't give up in any given game. They can put together good bursts of, of pressure. They've scored their share of goals this year. And especially with Ava in there in net, we have our starting defense, and that ball is going to roll past the back line again. So, yeah, their MO is move it up, get into the corner quickly, and cross it to numbers that they have in the box waiting for it. On the substitution by Merrimack, we haven't seen any from Goffstown yet. So the field getting narrowed here as Ava sends it forward. Kind of trying to come down with it. Good pressure by Merrimack there to disrupt that pass intended for McKenna from Lexi. Lexi's going to survey the field. Gonna get a nice throw what into the middle. Throw. Yep, good throw. And Ari's gonna uh, try to fend off an arm bar there and get it back. So, so here's Merrimack. They're gonna just reset from the back and they're gonna be able to pass around us if we don't have consistent pressure. You know, they're a, a skilled enough and, and smart enough team. They're not going to pass into partial pressure, I don't no, think. I think right? Ari's doing a good job pressuring the ball when it's moving up into the defense, but we're not finding any other pressure on the... Mm, good throw there. On the other options that Merrimack has. Yeah, that went off Lexi's arm. It's only a throw in. That could have been a free kick. And yeah, Lexi gets ahead on it. Again, Merrimack's there for the angles. Get a good sense for where the ball is going to be, and they are there. So we have four players coming in for Gosstown. 
All right, so we have Ava D coming off. We have Caroline coming off. We have Reese coming off, and I didn't catch who else came off, Joe. Uh, Allie, probably. Sure. No, Allie's still out. We got Avery in, Ayla, and Kat, and Grace. Okay. I didn't see Allie. That's why I said that, but you're right. No, there Allie's she is. Been in. Yep. When, when the girls are running, I can tell them apart better because of the way they're, <laughs> you know, they're, they all have the different running styles and the, and the hairstyles and so forth. But, yep. Anyway, we are quickly back to what we've been seeing a lot of, and that's Merrimack. Just pushing it up the middle, and that's a high bouncing ball. Brooks going to send that back. Yep, Lexi, good hustle to keep that in bounds. Well done to make that a throw out. Yep. Throw in good up. job. Yep. So good job getting the ball away from pressure, and good job by Lexi to keep it a uh, throw in. So, so McKenna, Reese. Caroline and Ava, the ones that came off. Big cross, but Bridget's there to stop it. Grace looking to uh, carry that forward. Grace back on the field after having a little bit of the injury bug bite her as well. Brooke booms that forward to Cat. Cat tries to touch it down to Ayla, but Ayla had a little slip up there. And it, it, everything's contested right now, Joe. Everything we're doing is contested. Time and a boom. So there's, so a, it's gonna there's be a send forward, but yeah. it's going to go out. And now we have to try to pinch this in and trap it, mark up. The ball's going to go over. Going to find Merrimack right away. Good throw. Hila brings that down nicely. Is able to contain it, but still has getting, it. She's getting stood up. A great job battling through that. Cat trying to find Ari to her right, but that back line is uh, pretty tight, and we're trying to pass through it right now. So we're just chasing the ball a little bit here, Joe. Again, kind of similar to uh, the first half, or the first half of the first half here, I guess, as we near the 20-minute mark. Good send. Yeah, Ayla not able to bring that down. And again, Merrimack's just well-positioned. They hold their shape very well. They are. And our shape is, is being uh, constantly challenged. Shot by Avery to jump in there and step and grab that. Yep, good step by Avery. He's got a great more. ball to yeah, Ari. Yeah, See if Ari can keep it in. It should be close. Stay in it. Well, in. so here comes Ari with a cross and oh! It's on the ground. Yeah, the goalie I think had the sun got in her eyes, Joe. And a shot by Avery. Yeah. Oh, and that's, and that's still, still there. On the Where ground. are we? We need to be there. Yeah, the coach uh, thinking the same thing we are, I think, Joe. We Need to be there. Yeah. Uncharacteristically from uh, Ayla, she's usually one that's right on, on her nose running on stuff. Yeah, especially Which playing in the center yeah. position. She's usually there. Oh, and there's a cross, but oh, no, and a mistouch there. Oh, and just Brooks just able to get it away. Oh, that could have been dangerous. That's the difference right now. Any misplay or misstep by us results in a high-pressure play where Merrimack, we don't have that kind of pressure on them consistently. So yeah. they can they can have the big touch, they can have the errant pass or what have you, and, and they're just able to regroup. Yeah, that has to be the sun, I'm thinking, because the goalie had her arms out to kind of catch that, and then at the last second she just kind of banged it off yeah, her yeah, shin. Yeah, down by her, down by right at her cleats, right? And so she must have lost sight of it for just a couple of seconds with the sun. Yeah. Good hustle by Ayla, trying to get it. She's going to get dispossessed there. And we're really giving a, a too much space at this point. Yeah, and there, there's kind of a... Uh, it's number five. She's back in yep. to the position she was playing earlier. And that was a left-footed send into the box. It didn't have a lot on it, but... Ava trying to boom it forward. It's going to fall short of midfield. Again, 
Merrimack, Merrimack, Merrimack. Absolutely. Brooks going to play it back to Ava, and we're going to try this again, and we're going to have the same result, Joe. <laughs> it's going to get sent <laughs> forward and, and find the uh, the pink socks of Merrimack. And there's a trip. I can't believe it's not a call. It is a call. Uh, that could have been a yellow card. So Maya getting flattened, kind of holding her, her, ribs her midsection again, which has had some injuries. We don't like to see Maya or anyone on the ground. And there's a touch. It's going to go right back toward the goal. Cat's going to try to flick it forward for Ayla. Ayla's just going to dump it into the box. Where are we? No one's chasing that no. ball, Joe. I don't understand it. Cat was we, able to usually, save it and then yeah. kind of flick it off, but then she's sat and we're usually kind of watched it go. Much better about that. So uh, have a little bit of... Uh, Timidness, is if that's the right word right now. In the attacking zone. And we're going to look for the cut over here and the send across. There's the cut over. Again, Bridget doing a good job taking up some of that space. Avery comes over, and I think we could see it at a corner there. Yes. So after all that, they get a corner for... So they get a corner out of just having the ball in our zone, really. That's it. Merrimack's got the ball. Ball's placed. Got a ready hand up, and here's the send. And it's low on the ground near the near post, and Cat has a big touch. That's going to come back. She's trying to stay with it. Oh, my Let's God. It's central. She's going to send it right in. Here comes a shot that's partially blocked. Clearing and the ball out of the yep, 18. We've got to push up quickly here. Of the 18. We've seen that three times now so yep. far this game. A uh, longer punt this time over midfield. And we're just we're just sending it forward. And good idea there to try to find Ari on the wing, but we've got to step up here and lock it in. Ball needed just a little more on it, make Ari run a little harder. Mm -hmm. Open that field up a little bit. So Goffson with a throw right about midfield on the far side of the field. And Ellie's going to throw that in. It's going to get bounced around here. Cat coming over. A lot of standing around right now. A lot of standing around by the uh, Grizzlies. Again, I think it's just, for lack of a better term, is a little bit of timidness in our play or, or hesitancy. I don't know what the right word is, but well, I think you got it right. It, right there. Oh, my goodness. And that's just a, uh, yeah, that's a trip there. That that could have been a card as well, but it clearly was inadvertent, so I think that's the right call for sure. But dangerous, dangerous free kick here. Yes. This is... Uh, yeah, cause shown that just on a regular in play cross here that it's been kind of dangerous for yeah. you to set play so all the time in the world <laughs> is set up here and they've got a lot of players on the far side of the post i expect to see them kind of rushing in here to accept this we've got a three player wall but and that's going to go way over they're going to look for a header and they're going to find it and it's going to go in in wow so set pieces have been our nemesis for most of the season for one reason or the other, and that's certainly the case today. Wow. So Merrimack looking like a, a much improved team from last year. We are too, but we're still uh, not playing up to their level yet today, Joe. Maya's going to try to carry this forward. And again, just kind of carrying it forward until we get dispossessed here. So let's see. One, two, three, four passes here in the middle. So this is our oh, commentator's curse. As soon as I said that, we lost it. That's a send forward, but again, we need to have... Uh, semblance of a plan with a lot of these passes today. 
sending forward is not enough. That's part of the plan, but there we go. Good touch by Ayla. Yeah, we're playing on a narrow field right now, Joe. We're, we're kind of locked in the middle here. Not using the width of the field as much as we could. Narrow and kind of flat-footed. Oh, and there's a send forward. Talk about the middle of the field, slicing right through. It's Merrimack, and here it comes. There's a cut over. Good job by Bridget to try to contain that. And Avery doesn't have a lot of options except to send that out of bounds there. So it looks like Ava D is going to come in for Maya, who looks like she's still hurting, Joe. But she's coming off pretty uncomfortably. We do have a Merrimack throw. Here comes the send. I'll go across the back line, so Ava will. Big send forward, and again, Merrimack winning most, if not all of these that I can think of. Oh, send forward, yeah, we've got to step up on that. And again, this, we're kind of in reaction mode right now. So we're trying to develop something here. Ayla doesn't have a lot of choices here. Yeah, no. we've got to get up and wide. So here we can get a foot on that. We oh. can have a shot here, Joe. We need our yeah, we need, we need some, some pressure up. Oh, we've got to have a strike here. And that's, that's gonna go take. wide. But hey, not a not a bad idea to take at this point. Another substitute for Merrimack. Ball's going to come out to midfield. Good job for Augusta to get a foot on it. And then we're going to try to send that in. Goalie's going to call to pick that up. She does. And he's going to send that right to the center circle area. And that goes over a lot of players <laughs> for both teams. <laughs> Good touch Let's there by to Lexi. That out. Yep. She's going to send it forward, though, but right into white jerseys. Central need to have a plan, like you just said, Tom. Yeah, some games just sending it forward is, is all the plan you need, but not against this Merrimack team. You need to have a plan, like you said, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's a contested pass. We've seen a lot of those, too. And that's going to go over. Can, Kat's going to chase that down. Oh, that, that, again, ball came in hot, but Avery did a good job. Deflect it. And Ayla's going to get that. Off, but gonna get tackled. So Brooke with a good Brooke step. has a touch here and a good look up to Ayla, and yep, we've got to be wide here. So that will be a Goss down throw. And yep, Cat's gonna take it. That's gonna. Leave. We need people in the box, so no, nope, she's gonna put it down. And Lexi will take it. That makes sense. We need members in there. A good throw by Lexi. Doesn't get over the tall uh, Merrimack defender there, but we have possession for the moment. Oh, trying to do a little give and go here. We've got him hemmed in just a little bit, but here it comes, number five. She's going to take that. Up. Oh, that's a handball. That came up and hit her hand and came right back down. But... Those balls bouncing around here. Good takedown by Bridget. She's going to find an outlet here, and she's going to keep it. Good job by Kat to control. Good job by, yeah, job good by Bridget. Job by Bridget. Work that. So now we suddenly don't have a plan again. It's like we, we make the first couple passes, and then we're like, hmm, now what? And it's in that now what moment that Merrimack is all over us. Let me have Merrimack throw near there. Defensive third. 
four on, a, four off. A wave of subs for Goffstown. So okay. Abby coming in, McKenna, Caroline, and I missed one. I was relying Reese. on you, Joe. There Reese. you go. <laughs> I got it. I got it. The whole front line changed. Yep. And our attacking mid. Might have been a five-person change because yep. I didn't think I saw Ari earlier. So here comes the speed of Merrimack. Bridget trying to front that. Good job keeping that forward. Yeah, it looks like Ari's playing a little more defensive here. To your point, Joe. And oh, there's a ball going to go forward. Up to Abby. Abby, yeah, Abby tried to poke it forward. Oh, kind of an athletic a move by McKenna stare. there. Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be in urgent care if <laughs> I just did that move. I would still be laying right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm still laying Chantel there. Chantel, the trainer, would be coming out for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's a ball kind of up for up for grabs in the middle. And uh oh, where, where are we going with this? Forward progress. We're going to keep moving well yeah, forward. And that ball's going to go mercifully past the back line and allow us to kind of regroup here. So it's about six and a half minutes left in the game. Five or five and a half or so on our clock. And two uh, nothing game. Goff's down a little lucky that it's just a two nothing score here. Yeah. As we, have we been seeing not much of an offensive push from Goff's town. No. So there's a punch forward there. And Avery's going to take a quick throw in. Reese trying to maintain possession, but too many white jerseys around her. So here we go. Look at the shape. Look at the shape filling out for Merrimack. This is a uh, good example of that. And they're wide. And they're going to send it into the middle as we chase. We chase and get clumped up a little bit here. Yep. So and we, yep. Our, our center backs have to come way out. And oh, oh my goodness, that should have been a goal for Merrimack. Yeah. Well, you saw what developed. The ball was getting no pressure. Our center backs were way outside the 18 box. Yes. But not all of them. No, so they could stay no. on sides on the wings, and then they crossed it. So they're working. They work up, out, and back in. Up the field, out wide. Back in. I think we have Avery move to an outside back. I was a little confused at first there. Yeah, well they've got us clumped pretty good. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, here comes another cross. We've got to take up some of this space. Oh, my goodness. How do they – they're getting passes they're like getting that passes. inside the box. <laughs> That's just unacceptable. So, look like – oh, no, good leap by Ava. It's going to result in a corner. So, again, pressure. Let's go. The White. They are creating their own chances, Joe. You've they got are. to give the Tomahawks credit. They're applying pressure, and we are not receiving that pressure in a calm, patient manner. Corner kick, ball's placed. In in the air, and here comes the send. Out toward the top of the box, right toward the penalty marker. Here comes Avery. She's going to try to collect that and go upfield with it. She's going to send it upfield and out of bounds. So the throw just on our side of the field. Wow, generous uh, placement and steps there. Yeah, our defense is playing up higher than normal. I think that's an indication of a few things. One, we're, we're not coming back as much. Merrimack. Pass, pass, pass. Yeah, Merrimack is applying a lot of pressure up top. Pass, pass, pass. I don't think Gaston's touched it yet. It's the first touch. Yep, and it's going to go right out. back. Right yep. back to Merrimack. So good job by McKenna with a nice touch there and a tackle. And yep. Go, McKenna, go. Yep. Oh, and a, just a little tap too, too much forward. That's going to stay in bounds. So 
McKenna tackles it out of bounds there. Give us a breather. So we're a long throw, but that's never going to come in bounds. So I'm going to bring that back here. Lexi with the long throw, but Merrimack there. And I'm going to end up kicking it out of bounds. So Got a plan, Tom. Even when we possess it, we're not possessing it today. I have a plan. If we title these games, such as <laughs> the crazy ball episode, what have you, I think so far today that's the title of this game, <laughs> to have a plan. Have a plan. Good work there by Avery. The one without a yep, plan. And just not quite able to connect. So Lexi with another throw here. And send that forward. And McKenna's going to send that back for the moment we're possessing. Oh, that ball. A little errant in the air. We need to keep the ball on the ground, too, on some of these passes when we can. So McKenna just turns that and burns that right into a Merrimack player. Good step by Abby. Yeah, good poke there, but they come right back to us, or toward us, I should say, not to us. <laughs> that has not been the case. The ball's going to roll out of bounds. So we're on the ref's watch right now inside of two minutes here. Gosta, I'm trying to win the last couple minutes, see if we'll take make happen this as we said before the most dangerous score in a game possibly 2-0 because the next goal really set the tenor of the game 2-1 to one game is a lot different feel than a 3-0 game and there is the whistle that will end the first half so it won't be 3-0 or 2-1 it'll remain 2 to nothing in favor of the Tomahawks and we will be back to Broadcast the start of the second half.
long as survive. Give it your all and be willing to die for the reason that you are alive. Answer the call when you get it, or are you gonna be is to be left behind? They see us believing, don't leave them a reason to leave. Leave it all on the line. Ain't about to buy what they selling me. No time for the lies that they telling me. Not waiting for handouts, I know where I'm going. I'm leading the charge like a felony. So let the haters keep spitting that venom and thinking it cuts like a knife. They fuel in the fire, the passion's ignited. Can't stop me from shining, cause now is my time. Giving this all we've got We're taking our only shot
right, welcome back to the second half of the Goffstown Grizzlies girls varsity game against the Merrimack Tomahawks. Today is October 18th, a beautiful uh, autumn day. want to make sure we thank GTV, David and his team, Aiden and Jen, for their support. And this is our 15th consecutive game of the season and the 15th one we've been able to broadcast uh, because of GTV. So uh, that is much appreciated for sure. And there is the whistle, and the second half has officially started. The Grizzlies trail by a score of 0-2, to two. and I think it's fair to say the uh, the first half, Joe, was pretty much all Merrimack. A good step there by Reese, trying to get that forward. And uh, unless Goffstown does something different here, I wouldn't expect different results. Nope, they got to make some changes for different results for sure. Yeah, Reese throws it in, finds Ari. Ari's going to try to cut that back. And is it going to be a foul? Yeah, she was uh, she was grabbed there yeah. by the defender. Yep. So this is uh, dare I say it, one of our best opportunities of the game, Joe. Uh, it is a free kick right at the corner of the 18-yard box. Right here in the first minute, see if they can make something so out Caroline's of it. Caroline's going to send that in. That's going to go near target. Where are we though? We are, we are not, not on that. There. We weren't even near that far post. Uh, to accept that ball, so easy come, easy go, I guess, with that chance. Hopefully, we get more of it. Uh, not a bad send by Caroline. Just we, we, we were, were not set there. Up, we were set up halfway through the 18. I would imagine. I'm trying to remember. I had my hat way down because the sun is screaming down on us right over it the is, grandstand. Yeah, but it's late afternoon sun here before the time change. Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, good placement because that goalie was looking into that sun that you just mentioned. But, yeah. again, we didn't have anything uh, or anyone on the end of that to connect. So we have, I think, a throw-in here. We do. Here comes the throw-in. Lexi's going to send it in from the far side. And Paul's getting batted around here a little bit. Merrimack's going to come down with it. Caroline, big touch, and it's going to go forward. Allie's going to send it into the top of the box. Reese and is there. Reese is there. Good, good effort. And I think that's going to be our first corner of the game, Joe. It is. it is. Wow. So in the first two minutes, we've had a free kick on the corner of the 18-yard box. And now we have our first corner kick of the game. Yes. We have never been shut out of corner kicks. So thankfully, this game will uh, not be that time. So I'm going to. Ball is set. Ari's the one who's taking it. She's now out of my sight, but here she goes. Here's the send. Send's going to be on the ground. Merrimack's going to poke that forward and. The player's going to come all the way forward and carry it all the way to midfield. Brick was able to the battle, but it did go out of bounds. Yeah, well, we were all running. Every player on the field, for the most part, was running in the same direction at, on that play. Oh, so there's a throw. Allie trying to contain. The ball's going to get turned around here. So, oh, yep. So there's a... Uh, uh, one of the rare impatient just kind of sends in toward the net that we've seen Merrimack do. Good read by Bridget there. She was going to come in and crash on that, and then she saw that it was going to be a kick instead. So he was going to send that out. Good flick forward. And just like that, it's back in our back in our penalty area. And look at that cross, going to go all the way across the other side. Oh, good job by Allie to stay with that. Because uh, if she had not gotten that, that would have been trouble, Joe. It would have been trouble. Number five was uh, used to, in the first half, don't know who's dishing it yeah. off into the box. And then she needed to be the one that covered on the back post this time. She wasn't able to get there in time. So Maya is out on the field again. It's good to see. Brooks sends that forward to Ari. Ari's not able to take it down. Again, the pressure by the Tomahawks. They are on us. And good ball movement there. And they are continuing to move the ball. Yep, they are. And I'm that ball is going to be kick. another corner kick. Yep. At least in this direction, Ava is not looking into the sun. She's just about getting into the shade for the entirety of the rest of the game here. 
But it is peeking through just the top of the treetops, probably, for her. But she's got her back to the sun at this moment, which is good. So this might be a short kick. It is. It is. We've got to move up here to get to pull them off sides. We've got to keep pulling up here. Yep. Don't let them get comfortable. My goodness, Joe. Every ball is seeming to find a white jersey right now. Case in point. Ava calling Bridget off there to scoop it up off the grass. Yeah, well, let's, yep. Coach, I think, questioning that call, but. Oh, Ari looking for it. I think getting it lost in the sun there. Carolyn's going to send that toward the top of the box. The goalie's going to try to oh, wait there. The box. Oh, my goodness. This is a chance, Joe. Great, oh, great job from McKenna wow. to keep the pressure on. Oh, my goodness. That could have been a, uh, our opportunity to to get a quick strike there. Wow. Go for another cross. Number five is now trying to get into position. Oh, my she goodness. Wasn't last yep. time. She's going to carry that in. Brooke's going to Brooke disrupt the stop. cross. And that's going to get over, but we're not going to get up to it here. Allie trying to contain. We see number five all game, though. Oh, she's going to get right around. Oh, going to get around b multiple defenders here. And oh, almost taken down in the box there, but no call. And we are in just clear mode here. We've got to push up. We're not pushing up as much as we could be here. Yeah, Merrimack very disciplined with their shape and they make quick turns upfield. That's the other differentiator I think today is that they are, they are thinking of what they're going to do before they have the ball. So when they have that ball, it's, it's a very quick decision rather than trying to figure it out on the fly. They had a plan. They had a plan, yeah, and they're working that plan. <laughs> Sometimes a, a plan doesn't survive. They know what they're going to do before they get <laughs> yeah. the ball. They have a plan. <laughs> it's like emergency planning. Sometimes <laughs> a, a plan doesn't survive contact with reality, but um, Merrimack's plan has survived and thrived quite well today. Good tackle there by Ari. And again, we're just trying to send it forward. It's going to be a foot race. Yeah, the goalie's going to get there first. Good takedown there by Maya. Maya's looking to swing it wide, but Caroline's not going to get there first. Yeah, Merrimack's going to get there first. Oh, and that ball's not going to be able to get through. And boy, we're, we're a little bit exposed right now. We've got to come back. So, oh my goodness, it's right back to them. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough to watch sometimes. How how disciplined they are. I mean, it's impressive, but oh, and there's a ball that's going to get through behind the defender. And normally we wouldn't be this excited about it. But <laughs> and just like that, it's coming right back our way. Holy guacamole! There's that a ball great ball from Merrimack. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to get sent right over. Good. What a stop yeah. by Ava. Ava stood her ground, made herself big Just there. And straight up one-on-one. On one. Yep. Oh, and a swing and a miss by Ava D. Yep. That ball so does get cleared out. Ari getting kind of held there. And we... Maya with a little bit of room here. Defense willing to concede some territory. Oh, and she's going to cut it toward the middle. And uh, that ball's going to get deflected off of Maya way past the back line. Comes another Here push comes another by push. Merrimack. Yep, they're just going to dump it in behind our defense here. Three men push, but they get an uncontested shot. Yep. Three on five, and still able to get a hard shot off to Ava. 
at right at the 18, top of the 18. Got some long shadows forming on the field in our direction from that setting sun in the west. McKenna's going to take a quick throw in here. Survey her options. She got Maya on the run. They able to connect with her. Yeah, and they are collapsing around Maya. We've got to be able to pass out of this pressure. So there we go, right on cue. Big touch, Good though. Touch. Yep, and that's going to get sent right back. Brooke trying to send that forward to Maya on one touch. Going to come back to Maya here. So, oh my goodness, yeah, we are um, getting out hustled, I think, a little bit here too, Joe. We haven't oh, given up good by tackle Ava. by Ava. She's going to send that forward to See, Reese. Reese, Reese can Reese touch. Get a touch on it. Oh, and Reese kind of gets spilled to the ground. No call. It's going to be a throw in. So Reese is going to take the throw, and she's going to send it to Ari. Ari looking to turn up field. Carolyn trying to – oh, that could be a corner kick, Joe. That, it that is. is. That deflected yeah. off a Merrimack player. So, again, you know, a little bit of pressure, and now we have a corner kick. Still so a 2 nothing game. Yeah, the next goal the next is uh, goal up for grabs, hopefully, here. So Ari's going to take the corner kick. From that part of the field. So here comes the kick. She's going to send that forward. It's going to go in the middle kick. of the box. Dangerous ball is going to get bounced around. Only touched by Merrimack. Yep. Only touched by Merrimack. You're exactly right. Took the words out of my mouth. Going to stay Goffstown for the uh, possession for the moment via a throw in near the corner of the stands there. Lexi throws it in. There's a handball in the box. That is a handball. Yep. No call. Wow. Okay. That was even up by her face. Yeah, it was. And you know what? The arms were up, I think, to shield from the sun, too, but inadvertent or not. We should be shifting this ball. Yeah, I was just <laughs> thinking Bridget could have swung <laughs> that to Brooke, and Allie could have gotten a little wide. Straight back into congestion, and here it is. It turns. Yeah. Brooke is able to step and touch. And turn it up field. And good outlet to Maya. Yep, so here we keep go. Pushing it out. There you yep. go. Open the field up. Up and over. And a great ball oh, to Reese that, with that, a handball yeah, to come yep. bring it down. <laughs> so <laughs> the whistle stops the play, but the play wouldn't have developed if Reese didn't kind of get her arm on it. So it wasn't that blatant. But uh, I think after seeing the handball in the box, the refs were like, oh, yeah, we might have to call a handball this game. So they were kind of tuned into it maybe. Look pretty blatant from this camera yeah. view. <laughs> All right, so there's the kick. That's a send in, and A was able to scoop it up before Merrimack's there. She called everyone off at that point. We're getting a battle here in the center. Oh, we got to chase it. Can't watch it. So Gaston kind of... Uh, Allie with a lot of green in front of her and ends yeah. up booting it out to out the side. So we get some subs. So Allie, Caroline, Reese, and Reese are, coming, are out. coming out. And we have Ayla and Rose and, and Avery coming in. Uh, Grace is in. And Grace, I'm sorry. I know that. We'll get it figured out by the 16th game of the season. Quick All right, so yep. line. throw in here. Oh, and they're going to call out a white throw. White throw. Okay. Seemed to just bounce right over Avery's head, but who are we to Avery. make a call? Yep. That's going to be a white throw that time. A white throw in. Maya trying to take the step and tackle. Good challenge there between her Number and Avery. And they still come away with it. Oh, my ball. goodness. And there's a Man, shot. Take a shot. Yep. Oh, what a great save by Ava Vaughn. Leaping to her left and catching that midair. Good job by McKenna to kind of play through that ball. Ayla trying to come back. And they're going to call a foul here. I think, I think that was a retaliation foul, Joe. So we're gonna move some numbers in. We got one 
up towards the ball, but nothing else deep. There's a send. That's going to go right toward the top of the box. Oh, and that almost looked like a like an arm ball sending that back. All Merrimack, though. Here comes the kick out. That's going to go almost to midfield. It's going to go over. over. Lexi, yep, so we have to recover here. Boy, we've been playing a lot of catch-up today. Lexi goes down. Yep, she does get entangled. And Brooke stops it, and then she's able to Good get it out. Brooke. Boy, that ball was sitting there like a big, uh, she stopped big beach ball <laughs> waiting for <laughs> someone she to She stopped it, it on a heavy run and had to come back and retrieve it. All in the six-yard box. There's been a lot of that pressure today. Up and over Alexis again. Yep, and, and another tangle of bodies, and this time it's a foul. It's going to be a free kick akin to a corner kick. At a much better angle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because this can be a shot directly on without any bend, really. So Merrimack surveying does not look like a short kick here. No one to receive it short. That's going to be up toward the top of the box. It's going to get bounced around. Mm -hmm. Avery's going to get out, and we're going to have a whistle. As soon as this is an offside. Merrimack's walking forward, so yeah. That's as good a, good a guess as any. Unless there's a handball or something. I don't know. I like I tend to make call. calls on the fly and then afterwards realize I might have been better off waiting a moment or two to <laughs> process what my mind saw before I describe what I think I saw. He was going to kick this out to her right. She's going to look for Ari. Oh, Ari trying to get that ball. Not going to get a foot on it. It's going to roll out right at the Goffstown bench. Merrimack taking the throw in right to Ari. Ari's going to try to poke that forward. But good job by Merrimack to keep possession. It's going to get sent forward. Oh, Grace not quite able to get there before Merrimack pokes it away. Lexi trying to contain. And she's able to shield that out of bounds, throw it in quickly. Like Ayla trying to set it up. We're kind of bunched up right in the middle here again. Oh, and Grace is taken down. Just kind of mowed down. And no call. I I only describe that as a midfield tackle. I'm gonna send that. Arnie's a touch and turn. Yep. Oh, Good. she's able well to turn. Done. Yep. Not a, not. Oh, she's got she's Ayla looking in for the Ayla. Middle. Oh my goodness! And we've got to have a. It's gonna be a take. Yeah. Oh, and that and is a good take. Yes, and, the and that is that in the me. corner. Well done. So well done. That was all because it bounced off the defender. Absolutely, which almost could have been a handball. So great strike by Maya Thomas to cut the lead in half. The score is now one to two in favor of Merrimack. That's that two nothing score that is yeah. kind, of, kind of not very comforting. The tenor of the game has changed for the moment. It's gone in Gosstown's favor for the tenor here to be able to change this. Good step there by Grace. Grace finds Ayla. Ayla's looking for someone. She's gonna find Ari, Ari needs wide. To touch and keep. She will be able to. She's got to. plenty of time. And boy, we look like Merrimack a crossing great cross. us. Oh, oh, and a bobble. And a bobble. The, and oh, we, we needed someone there. underneath it. Ayla oh, was my close goodness. in the vicinity, but not enough wow. to, be able to be under it. So we really haven't tested the goalie yet this game, Joe. No, we've not. That little bobble, boy, a I little bit more. And I think we could have some more luck here. We've seen that a couple of times so far, Tom. We have. So what's going yeah. on here? Everyone's standing watching it. I thought I heard a whistle. Maybe everyone else did too. Oh boy, and here, just right on cue, here comes Merrimack. Uh, defense looking to hold their line. Lexi's a little deeper. Here comes the cross. And Ava, Ava, Ava yep, punch it out calling and everyone and off. Push it down and grab it. Take command. And there's a good send forward. That might go over the defense. And they're going to have to run towards pressure the, that. Yep. Oh. oh my goodness, we've got to be on that. Yep. So Ari there. It's going to get deflected out of bounds. 
So we're going to have some substitutions. We got Ali coming in for Lexi. Yeah, and a couple of players for the Tomahawks switching out. And Avery's moving over to the other side of the field. So the white, uh, white throw in. White being the uh, uniforms of the Merrimack Tomahawks. Settle, play, yeah. Look so out. Look a little bit far. Nope. She's able yes, to hold on to the it. The defense is giving us a they little are. bit of uh, green, as Not you said. Not as much of a step as we've seen oh, in the first half. Oh, good touch there. So we've got a, yeah. Okay, so Merrimack's content to kick that out there, Joe. This is uh Tom, we've got an <laughs> offensive <laughs> offensive drive here. And we've sure got do. Merrimack on their heels. Yeah. They've been kind of commanding the game the whole time. We've got 20 minutes left in the second half. Gaston's been able to cut the score. And here comes a number five and the rest of the forwards who we have seen this before. Yeah. That is going to be a whistle. Oh, no, and a tangle of bodies, and they're going to call. Where is she going to call it? Brooke is down on the ground, too. I think they tangled. I think she's upset. She doesn't think that that should be a call, but it doesn't. Yeah. They're calling it right outside the 18. So the call is going to be a foul. So the ref is talking with the Goffstown players right now. I'm not sure what's going on here. And they are going to give a penalty kick for that. Yeah, the, the Merrimack player fell yeah. after contact into the box. Oh, this is unfortunate. So here is a golden opportunity for Merrimack. They're going to line up for the PK. And they're going to bury it. No surprise there. That's going to happen nine times out of ten. So unfortunate uh, foul there. And unfortunate discretion on the ref to consider it in the box. So the coach protesting, but it's irrelevant at this point because the score is now back to a two-goal lead. But we really had Merrimack on the ropes for a minute there, Joe. I mean, there's 19 minutes left in the game. There it's is still a lot, of, a lot of soccer to be yeah. played. We would have had to score two goals anyway to, uh, to win it. Two goals now will tie and still get some points out of the game. So either way... I'd love to be able to play that back and just take another look at that. Yeah, well, we have it on film. We do. have to look at it another time, but I'm not 100% sure the contact was outside the box because it was really close. So you could argue either way. Yeah. Well, and like we always say, it doesn't matter what we see or think. The ref, you know, they should have a better vantage point. They're going to call right there in real time. Yep. That ball's going to go up, and, and Ayla's going to have that. And it's going to be oh, a handball. Oh, they're going to call the handball. But yeah. you know what? They have not been calling that this season consistently. Not consistently. Man. So her arm was not extended. It was not extended. It was tight to her body, but yeah. I don't. The rule of thumb is usually <laughs> if, you, if the ball goes, like, down and to your feet in your direction. Right. And, and the call yeah. didn't come until after the Merrimack player gave the signal, if you noticed. Um, oh, oh now she's got Maya time. She's going to use a, it. Yeah, she, she oh, broke her ankle. Oh, and that's number 11 be a coming push. in with a. Yeah, with an arm bar. An arm bar. Okay, well, here we go. We've got more pressure in their zone. If we can score the next goal, we are right back in it. Well, again, lots of time left in this game. You got to shake off that. Uh, that penalty and just look forward here. Going to drive the bus looking through the windshield, not the rearview mirror. See if Ayla can stop this. Ayla oh. trying to turn this, yep. And we've got an opportunity to keep it pressed in, but we're not going to be doing it. So good step by Bridget for the moment. And a great ball by Merrimack, yep. though. 
They're coming in three strong on our yeah. four. And here comes, and that ball is going to go to the outside. And I apologize to the viewers. I was caught up in the action. <laughs> I, was, I don't think I get the camera there in time. But no, it was just a shot that went shot to the went outside, wide. wider than that. Yeah, to Ava's left. Bounced on off the right side and netting. Yep. There's a send forward by Ava. Only white jerseys around it. Oh, good takedown there. Ayla's trying to keep control, but she's going to yeah get an outlet quickly. She's able to dish it out. Maya's not running as normal, Joe. I, I don't think no. she's near 100%. She's also looking to play a little bit different position, I think, right now in this shape. More of an attacking mid. Ava stepping forward nicely to try to keep that forward. And Merrimack's going to pass out of here. Oh, so Allie trying to bunch that up. But oh, good. Good, job good. By yep, good tackle by Brooke. And I went half to the ground on that one. And we are bunched up oh, right now. We've got, to push, we've got to push up and widen out. Yeah, we are not pushing up right now. We are we are near the top of the box. Oh, this did a lot of pushing. And they're going to call that, rightfully so. Yeah, on the field. Yeah. McKenna's going to take it. Normally she'd be up to receive that, I think, or be part of the receiving front. Ball kind of up for grabs in the middle there. And it gets and sent it gets forward. By. Yep. Right to Ava, she's able to grab it. Yeah. Oh, and then a big tackle there. Yeah, it is. Teenage. A lot of emotions yeah, in this game. A lot game. of emotions we're saying, yep. Yeah, this is a, oh, Merrimack, great bid there to get a, a foot on it. Good attempt by Merrimack. That's a, yep. that's a tough one to pull off. So good takedown here. Able to play through, Ayla, play yeah, through. Playing well. Brooke with a step to keep it forward. And boy, that ball is it's just still doesn't want to come down straight. Come down, no. Yeah, did not want to come down on a straight angle. Oh, and uh, Avery trying to clear it. She's able to do it. Uh, but again, even that was contested, Joe. Oh, and that's going to be a corner kick. They're kind of trying to see yep. if she can stop the throw in, but heads it right out the back line. And we have seen McKenna, or it's McKenna, Merrimack, be very efficient on their set pieces so far this game. So here's another set piece with somewhere around 12 and a half minutes to play, according to the game clock. And there's a big send up the top of the box. Just Someone gets Merrimack. a foot on it. Yep. Just Merrimack. Yep. And it's bouncing around here. And they're going to call a dangerous kick. High, yeah, they call high kick, and that's not really the call. You're, you're right, Joe. It's it's a dangerous kick. You can kick as high as you want. It's when it becomes dangerous that it's a foul. I mean, you can do a bicycle kick if you like. So Bridget's going to send that forward. Ava looking to bring this down. Get the sun creeping behind the horizon in the back here, so the 
the whole field pretty much out of the sun now. Oh, oh and, it and yeah, it does. And Brooks able to trip that up just for a moment. Merrimack's going to recover. They're going to send one in from afar. We'll take that every time. Not a lot of uh, challenge there for Ava to catch that. Doing a good job staying with it. Ava with a big send forward. It's going to hit the top of the circle on the Merrimack field side. But again, stop me if you've seen this movie before. It's coming right back our way. Yeah, connecting passes that well. Yeah. Bridget with a lunging uh, tackle there. Oh, great turn by Grace. Good shield. Looking for McKenna and just going to not be able to connect, but there's a call before that. I think that's going to be the pull on Grace, and they tried to let her play through. Okay. That sounds uh, good to me. It's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Yep. So the clock winding down. We have nine and a half on our on the overlay of uh, the video here, but the game clock is right about 11 minutes. So, oh, there's a take from behind. That's got to be a card, I would think. My goodness. We're, we're looking for a quick kick. We've got to get bodies forward unless we're going to try to just put this on. Oh, my goodness. And that, was, that was actually uh, that was a great take. Great take. But just wide right. Yeah. The height and the speed of it was fantastic. It wasn't on frame, but you're right, Joe. It was Joe. not on frame, though. Uh, a few yards to the left, and I think that would have given the goalie trouble. Yes. There's a send forward. Ava's going to touch that down to McKenna. Rose is working on Grace, it. Grace, yep. Grace is working on it. I keep calling her Rose today. <laughs> I don't know why. I bet she has a close relative named Rose. <laughs> it's been, been a long season, and I've gotten to know them. For some reason today, I have a mental block. Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> and we're going to have a whistle. Looks like a foul against Gosstown. Free kick here. No, I didn't see that one. I missed it. I did too, but the whistle and the ball and the, the ensuing kick says some foul was committed by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that was that mental block. Oh, and that's that a dangerous send in, but. Good kick. Yeah, good kind of center field play there by. Ava to calmly catch well, that. Maya's got a lot of space. Yep. And that's going to get dispossessed here. So we're going to send this back under pressure, but in a lot of that, you see, Joe, a lot of passes and curling to make the run immediately by Merrimack. And oh no, that ball's going to get kicked right toward the middle. Oh man, and Allie McKen has a lot of space. Gonna send she it back. still has space, and she's got to take it and turn yeah, it. Yeah, we've got to be um, instead of just throwing it right up the middle. Yep, yeah, we've got to be a little patient. Um, we need urgent. Oh, oh here's another slippage. mistake. Yep. Wow, good recovery by the center back there. He's going to send that forward, and Ava's going to collect that. Yep, that was a slip. I think the ground's probably getting a little. Damp with the dew here, settling in early. Oh, good touch here. Ayla's going to try to get it forward. A little much of a touch on yep. it. Not able to catch up to it. So, carry. we're not stepping up on the ball. We're giving a lot of... Uh, oh, what a great ball by Merrimack. Yeah. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Good step by Bridget. Oh. And Merrimack is not able to finish no, it. No, they are not able, but they had some pressure and a high-quality opportunity there. Good step by Bridget to slow down down, but Merrimack was still coming in in force. Yep. Nonetheless, it goes out. Goal kick. Man, we were battling the sun and battling the sun here, up here in the booth. As soon as it went down, it dropped like 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it get cool up here. We've got about seven and a half minutes left in the game. Merrimack seemed to be uh, regaining the form and momentum they had for pretty much the entire first half. Good ball. They just swung the entire field, Joe, with a few passes. Didn't move it forward, but they changed the uh, changed their look. And they are still holding on to it. And they are. That ball staying They're in. They're playing possession ball right now for sure. It's going to be a goal kick. 
How in the world is that a corner kick? I it must have come an back and you. clipped Avery. Yeah. Again, they the ones making the call are, are usually in close proximity to the play. Avery kicked that. Hit a Merrimack player who is like a post, and it went straight out the back line. It's a corner kick. Here's the kick. It's going to be all oh, right in the middle toward the top of the box. Maya's going to be able to send that to forward. Touch yep, good touch by Ayla to bring that down. Uh, but, boy, Merrimack just flooding in to keep it pressed in. So uh, Reese is going to come in for, for Ayla. Ayla, and I think... I think Ari's going to switch up and go in the center now. Bouncing ball. So we've got to stay wide. We've got to contain. We've got to take up the space and pressure. Oh, no. That ball's uh, going to be possessed out of our zone. No, it won't be. It's taken away. Mai's going to recover, though. She does need to recover because yeah. here comes a oh shot. Oh, no, and there was a collision of bodies right there. Number six on number six. Whew. Ouch. Both got up. I think a few girls are going to need a hot shower after this game and some ice packs. So we have a Goffstown throw. Got a Goffstown throw yeah, and a touch. Nobody but Goffstown. Yeah, I don't think Goffstown was expecting that call, but. No, well, he just corrected himself. <laughs> he did. So it is a white throw. So see, we do see it right sometimes. Yep. <laughs> Maybe we said that too loud. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Unless he's got a headset. I think it was he's a listening uh, to the live feed. It was a look on some <laughs> of our faces. <laughs> so Brooke brings that down to, for Reese. Reese gave the look of, okay, if you want me to take it. Yeah. Bridget's going Bridget, to try to, to clear it. this out. Yeah, she's waiting for that ball to come down. And Boy, if one thing we've seen today, it's you, you can't wait too long or at all with this Merrimack team because they are certainly not waiting. They are on it. There's a dump into That'll our zone. Corner. Sorry about that shake. My foot just hit the tripod here. Oh, tap over, but it's not going to get cleared. And we've got to try to, as hard as it is right now, we've got to try to keep our line up. So it was a good send forward to Grace. Grace isn't able to find an outlet. They are passing yeah. and moving. So Allie trying to... Uh, Contest that. And able and to get oh, it into the good box. job by Brooke to get ahead on it. Luckily, that uh, went right into Ava's hands. Good rollout. Grace. Yep. I, we like to roll out. It's yep. possession 100% of the time, as you say, Joe. Yes. Turn wide and look for Reese. Yep. Bury it good, deeper. You got to yeah. bury it deeper. Yep. Good job by Reese to bring that down. And that's going to get sent that's out of why bounds. You have to so. bury it deeper. Yeah. Two minutes on our clock. Yep. Five minutes frozen on the game clock. So we are on the ref's watch. Uh, oh, and now he takes a spill on the. Yep. I think turf. they're wet turf at this point. I think we probably have somewhere around three minutes. Step two. Yep, and we're just giving, we are turning here. Oh, Brooke had her jersey tugged on there. She's and got space, yep. she's gonna use she's it. Well done, Brooke. Oh, trying to find Ari. Yeah, our, uh, our play has been predominantly in our half of the field for the game. Well, I'm encouraged, Joe, by bits of our play here. Um, if we're at full strength and we have full intensity, I think we could uh, have some more favorable opportunities develop. We've definitely seen some great soccer playing when we're at full strength and full intensity from the Goffstown squad here. Yep. 
It hasn't been 100% consistent. Avery trying to send that forward. But when it's there, they're, they're a force to be reckoned with. Ari maintaining possession. Reese with a good touch. Good send over to Maya, who's not able to collect that. And we're, we must be down to uh, a minute or two. I think our, the, the game or the video clock is going to be at zero now. But again, I think we, we probably have a minute or so. I don't see any watch checking by the refs just yet. Ball's going to come down. Oh, it was up for grabs there for a minute. Oh, we were able to capitalize on it. So he was sending that wide, but no one there. And there's a commentator curse. I said I thought we had another minute, and there goes the final whistle. So that is the official end to the game. And Gostown Grizzlies will fall to the Merrimack Tomahawks by a score of 1-3. to three. So all in all, a, uh, a tough battle. No points to be had for the Grizzlies. And um, you know, I think they're going to look back on this game and regroup. And, and frankly, uh, it would be worth watching the game film to see how Merrimack was doing it a right. lot of the time. Right. Merrimack played a, played a pretty pretty good game, pretty solid game. Yep. Um, able to connect a lot of passes. So a lot of emotions uh, right now, Joe. Is. I think the players, are, they know this is a final home game for a lot of girls. And I think the whole team wanted to win it, not – not for points, but just for each other and, and send them off with a win. But still uh, a lot of soccer potentially left to play for the season. They have one more final, uh, uh, their final regular season game on Thursday against Winnicott in Hampton. And then hopefully it will be off to a favorable match up in the playoffs. So with that, I think we will end it here. Thank you for watching. Again, thank you to GTV, and we will see you in... Hampton on Thursday.